Hello everyone, this is a different YouTube video from what I usually post, but I've been asked a few times how I edit my TikTok clips. I'm going to show you how I take my stream highlights, I put them through DaVinci Resolve, and then I edit them to fit the phone format of TikTok, including webcam, any effects, anything like that. I'm just going to get this out of the way in the intro. If you like this video, drop a like. If you like all my other stuff, drop a sub, I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see anything else or have any ideas of any improvements or anything like that, drop a comment, let me know. Let's just get into it. Okay, for those that don't know what DaVinci Resolve is, it is a free video editing piece of software. It's on the same level as things like Final Cut with about 95% of what that has, but it is completely free. It's a very powerful piece of kit and I think it's great for pretty much every editor in YouTube without having to pay an absolute earful. So I highly recommend this. I am learning this myself at the moment. Uh, I'm still working on things, but I'm I'm absolutely loving this at the moment. Okay, so I'm just gonna run through the entire process of how I edit a clip. For me, I go through my highlights after every stream. I pull them out, I pull out just like a good chunk and, and I then download those clips, which you can see here. I do it by stream times, so I've got a whole host of those ready to go. So I pull the, all the clips over from here. As you can see, I've got tons and tons of clips on the last few streams that I've already edited. We're going to be looking at this one here from the 21st of September. I've got two clips here and I want to edit this camping there clip. So I just drag that down, which I already have. To make the process easier, sometimes you'll have weird lag or um, this can be quite intensive as well. So what you want to do is generate optimized media. And this can take a minute or two or depending how many clips you've got. This can take a little bit of time, but it helps in the long run. Uh, I've already ran this before filming this. The other settings you want to do is you want to go into playback, proxy mode, and switch it to half resolution and also render uh, back in playback, render cache and go to smart. These again just help the process of editing. These don't affect the end result of the video, um, but just help speed everything up. Okay, so once you've got all the clips that you want to edit in this box here, we can move over to the edit tab. Now for this clip, I've already edited it to how I want. As you can see here, I've done some I've done some volume changes. I've done some cuts. I've cut I've got rid of some like empty spaces in this and all that. So I'm happy with how this is going to look. But obviously this is formatted for your standard clip for say Twitter or Instagram. So what you want to first do is change the format of the end video here. So you click on the cog down here, you go to timeline resolution, and you click on custom. And then you can change these around. So what you do is you swap them over from 1920 to 1080 to 1080 by 1920. And then click save. And then you should get this phone layout here. And obviously your clip will then sit in the middle and it will sit to fit at that time. So now we've got that, what you want to do is take all the clips from your timeline and you control click them all. You then want to copy, control C. You want to make sure the timeline is right at the start. And then you want to click on the square with two arrows. And then you can just paste in. If you don't click this box, it will just add it to the end of your existing timeline, which is not what you want. So you do that twice. So again, video two, same thing. You click on the box, bring the timeline back to the start and paste in. Sometimes I've found that the audio will duplicate as well. Um, if that is the case, you will want to unlink the clip here. And then you can, uh, if I show you, and now this is not linked to that one and I can go and delete that audio if I want to. Hasn't happened in this case though, so we're all good. Okay. And I click those back on. So I start with the bottom layer, which is this first one here. 
for me, I have a blurred background behind, but you want this to fill the entire space of the phone. So I go for a zoom of four, which fills it right in. And then under open FX and filters, you have a bunch of things here and I add a blur to it. Totally up to you, you can experiment and see, but I use Gaussian blur and I just drag that onto the top. Uh, for the Gaussian blur, if you want to change it, you have to go through each individual clip. You can, if I have them all selected, I can't change them here, which is slightly annoying. Um, I have a set blur, I go for 0.7 here, so I'm just going to change all those real quick. Here, cool, and you can see the blur is now on all of it there, okay. I will mute this as well, because I'm going to keep going back and forward. So, onto the second layer. Now you see the first layer has now gone, but don't worry, we'll bring that back in a sec. I'm going to grab all these again. So this is like your main section of your gameplay, which is obviously going to take priority. Um, I go to 2.5 because you can now see the two black squares here, which are going to be filled by the bottom layer that we just did. And to bring them in, I then go to cropping and I just add one. It's a pixel, if that, but that brings in that bottom layer then. Now we move on to the third layer. This is the slightly trickier bit. Uh, it takes a bit more finesse. Uh, again, you take all three. Uh, we want to add a zoom because obviously we want to focus on my face. Uh, depending, This all depends on your camera and the size that you show on stream. I go for roughly 3.5 to 3.7. It kind of depends on how I'm sat as well. Totally up to you on this. You then need to bring your face over here or wherever you want actually. Again, this is totally up to you. I have mine at the top. Some people have theirs right in the middle, some people have it in the corners, wherever you want. I put mine right at the top, directly in the middle. Uh, so for me, it's usually roughly around 1600 by 700. I can play around with that a little bit, but we'll go with that for now. And that should be the same throughout. But obviously, we've got a corner of the video here, and we've got this square, and I've also got my... Um, stream like rotation of subs and followers and bits and all that there which I don't want in my TikTok video so if you're happy with the positioning and you're happy with it throughout as well again I move around quite a lot in this uh, we can move over to the color tab if I take it to this third one here so this is the third one is the first uh, first clip here and then the sixth one in color will represent this one, ninth one. It just goes up in threes each time. So you've got three layers, but we'll start with the first one. Uh, so we can now add a mask to get rid of the rest of this. Uh, I personally go for a circle. Again, you can try out some different options here. You just click on it and it will add this circle here. You then want to put it somewhere in the center of your face. Again, depending on how you're angled, how you look on the camera. Uh, and then we can drag that in here. And you're going by this white circle here. Uh, once you're happy with that, you then come over here, you right click and you add an alpha output. That should add a blue circle here. You then click on the square here and drag it to the circle, and that actually applies the mask. Now, if we go back to edit, we can see here that the mask has been applied, but I've got this like gradient here, uh, which I'm not a fan of, and I can see bits and pieces in here, so I can go back into color. Uh, if I want to make it a harsh circle, which is what I do, uh, I take the softness right down to zero here, and we can have a look. So that's now cut out everything pretty nicely for me. We go, th if we drag the timeline through, we can see it fits 
fairly well. I do move forward in this clip. Sometimes that can't really be helped, but it can also add to the video. Um, so that is fine. So I'm happy with how this mask looks. Uh, if I want to now copy it over to the other two clips for consistency sake, I can just do control C here. And then I can move over to the sixth layer here. As I mentioned before, this goes up in threes. Control V applies the mask. Same again, add alpha output. Drag between the blue square and the blue circle. And you've applied the mask. And it's exactly the same as before in the same position and everything. And then we can see here, that's fine. I, I lean back into my chair, so it's all good. Same again. You do this as many times as, as you have clips. For this one, I've got three. Do the right click, drag, cross, over. And there we go. That is a very basic TikTok clip made. If you need to add any of the special effects or anything like that, I always recommend doing that at the start um, with the basic format. And then you can turn things off once you've made your TikTok format. Um, for example, uh, I add sometimes like a, a screen shake or a dramatic change in color uh, to show like anger or something like that usually. But I don't want that on my webcam sometimes. So I do that to begin with and then I edit around that. This also gives you the option if you need to say if I wanted here, for example, to just focus on the gameplay, I could just delete this, delete this bit here. And I don't have web webcam anymore, which sometimes I have. Uh, but once you're happy with the clip, let's go and just deliver this. You got your file name here, you name whatever you want, put it wherever you want. Format, if you are putting this on TikTok via your own phone, which I recommend, you want to format this as MP4. It, TikTok will not accept any other format on your phone. Uh, if you're doing it on PC, through the browser, they do accept QuickTime, so you can leave it as that, but I always switch to MP4. Check everything's good. Make sure your resolution is still the same here. Check the audio is exported, everything like that. Once you're happy with that, you can add to render and then start the render and let DaVinci do the work. And that is pretty much everything. Hope this helps people. Like I said before, if you want me to do any other videos regarding editing, I'm still learning. I'm trying to pick up things, but I'd like to teach other people as well. As I learn, I think that's a great way of learning myself. So if you want to see any more, just hit me up and let me know. As I said before, if you like this video, drop a like, drop a sub if you want to see more, um, drop a comment if you want to tell me how good I am. <laughs> or uh, if you want to see any improvements or want to see anything else, just let me know. I should also mention all these stream clips come from my Twitch, twitch.tv slash redscapes. I stream Monday, Wednesday and Thursday, 7 till 10 o'clock UK time and then a Saturday afternoon stream 1 till 5 o'clock. That is everything. Thank you for watching. Until next time, guys, have a good day.